Another question came in in the Dev Cloud and DevOps Ask Me Anything series that I'm doing. And the question goes thus. How does one set himself apart in the cloud space in terms of technical skills because there's a huge talent pool now considering remote also? One adage which comes from my local dialect says, to be fearful like Farakpa. And that what simply means is that the sky is big enough for birds to fly without hurting each other. Now, I know there's a lot of people transitioning into the DevOps space. There's a lot of people transitioning into the cloud space. There's, there's a lot of people transitioning into the IT space, the software space, even the music space, even the content creation space. But that does not mean one cannot excel in such fields because there's just a lot of people. What I'll say is, to be able to set yourself apart in your trade, you need to be excellent at it. You need to be good at it. Well, not like you need to be the superhero of everything, but you need to be doing something in a way that others are not. And one of the things I generally advise folks is you should be able to document what you're doing and make it visible, either in your organization or to the entire world. You need to make yourself visible from time to time what you are doing. So if you're learning something new, if you're creating something that might benefit other people, you should showcase it. You should ensure that people are seeing what you're doing. The right people in this case, it might be your boss, might be your boss's boss, might be the entire organization, might be the whole world for all I care. So you should ensure that what you're doing is visible to the right set of people. That is one of the ways to set yourself apart. And also... Your learning should be continuous. You never stop learning. You don't say, because I've known how to code Python, I know how to do YAML, I know how to do Kubernetes. Five years ago, I do not need to improve my skills. The technology space we live in today has moved along quite fast and is still moving along quite fast. So you need to constantly learn and relearn your skills. You need to be able to document it. You need to be able to shout it. It's not been a, It's not just shouting like an empty barrel. It simply means that you need to proclaim what you're doing to the right set of people so that they can see you and be able to offer you opportunities when they come along. What makes a major difference between folks that I've seen that succeed in their field is that they make themselves vocal. Now, you can be an introvert. I'm an introvert also, a very extreme introvert, to be honest. But I try to ensure that the right set of people will see what I'm doing. And that is one of the ways I actually excel in my own way. Uh, but for anyone, especially who just wants to excel, you need to constantly learn and evolve. You need to have what we call an open mindset. You need to be able to adapt to changes in the field, adapt to changes in your work. You need to be able to, you know, put yourself out there to learn and unlearn skills from time to time. And that would be my short take on that. I'm not sure if that answers your question. If it does, let me know in the comments. And also, if you have further questions on this topic or if I need to expand more on that, let me know in the comment section. And also, if you have more questions, use the link shown on your screen right now or scan this QR code. So you do uh, put your questions in. And if you like the video so far, you have more questions, remember to put them in. And also, please, please, and please, Subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any videos like this coming in the future. I uh, promise to be making very much more of this at a go so I don't you know miss my streak. Uh, like one of the previous videos I make, you can check that video out here about missing streaks and learning cloud. So, like, share, follow with your friends and family. And I'll see you again in another one. Goodbye.